Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is an 80-year-old patient. They have some significant findings in their back here. The main thing here is a bilateral PARS defect, spondylolysis here. You can see that the L5 vertebral body is subluxed anteriorly, so they have some anterior spondylolisthesis. But this is not what I'm showing the case. I'm showing the abdominal aorta here. I always look to make sure they don't have an aneurysm, and it looks perfectly fine. And we we'll always look at the SMA origin here. This is the SMA, superior mesenteric artery. And this patient has a really high angle. This is 90 degrees. Usually it comes off at about 45 degrees. And if it's less than 20 degrees, if it's more vertical of 20 degrees or 22 degrees or less, that can be associated with SMA syndrome. And with SMA syndrome, if it's really vertical, it can pinch this structure, the left renal vein and cause nutcracker syndrome, or it can compress the third portion of the duodenum here and cause SMA syndrome. I just showed a case of that earlier. A patient had five degrees, it was almost completely vertical. Um, and again, this patient has 90 degrees. Uh, and again, normally is around 45 degrees. And now uh, this patient has one other finding. This is the celiac trunk above this. The celiac trunk is coming here up vertically. Normally it comes more straight off, so this Vertical orientation is unusual, and also there's usually a little gap between the celiac trunk, which is right here, and the SMA below it, but it looks like they touch each other almost. So this is related to this structure here, part of the diaphragm. The median arcuate ligament comes down here along the front of the aorta, and the ligament is pushing down on the origin. and causes a little J hooking of the celiac trunk origin. It's pushed down and can be kinked, and sometimes these patients can have postenotic dilatation. And we see this pretty regularly. Most of the time it's just incidental in this patient. Almost for sure it's just incidental, but it's just something to, to notice and then to see if they have any GI complaints. And so if they had uh, pain after eating postprandial pain, you know, it can be associated with this. But again, it's just so common. Um, usually downplay it unless they had you know, significant postenotic dilatation. And apparently when patients lay down, this may look worse like it looks now. When they stand up with gravity, this may be relieved. And again, so don't get too excited. But a couple of things to look for. The SMA, make sure it's um, more like a 45 degrees and anything less than 20 degrees or so. Get alarmed that you know maybe it could cause some problems. Again, we see that very regularly too. And most of the time they're asymptomatic, totally incidental. Um, and again, we see this very commonly too with the... Uh, median arcuate linkment is pushing down, causing a little J-hooking, and again, sometimes post synodic dilatation. And if so, you know, think about the idea of median arcuate ligament syndrome. And that's it. Thank you very much.